Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is something a little bit different. Now, I've been asked by loads of you to go and look at some of the new Premier Inn rooms that they have across the country. So I've been coming to Premier Inn for as long as I can remember. And basically when you book, you get the bulk standard room, no frills, it is what it is. But when I saw these Premier Plus rooms, I thought, hmm, they look a little bit different. Imagine flying economy and this would be premium economy for Premier Inn. So I thought while I'm here in Western Supermet, I'll go and check out the Premier Inn that's literally just on the seafront, just near Western Pier, and go and see for myself what the fuss is all about. So this particular Premier Inn has got the Brewer's Fair attached. Love the seating, nice and comfy and Premier Inns, are, they're going up a bit more posher now than they, they used to be. There's water there. I have already checked in and I have looked at the room already because uh, I just wanted to put my bags upstairs. Interesting furniture. I'm on floor number three. It's not very good when you see that in a hotel, is it? We'd like to make you aware that legal substances are not permitted on these premises. If found in possession, or room, you'll be asked to vacate the premises immediately. Wow, obviously they've had problems here before. Now, apparently this whole third floor has been redone. So the whole floor are now just Premier Plus rooms. As a Premier Inn fan, um, I'm looking forward to this. So my room is down here. And just thought I'd tell you, this video is not sponsored by Premier Inn. So all the standard rooms and the standard carpet, but then wait, the carpet changes. The normal Premier Inn carpet and doors to the Premier Plus rooms with the carpet. Straight away, this feels a lot different. What is that smell that they, hang on a second, I've never seen that before. Does anyone know what that is? Let me know in the comments. But I was talking about the fragrance that they they have in Premier Inns and there's definitely a, a pleasant smell up here. So here is my room. Your Premier Inn plus room, 321. Looking forward to this. I'll show you why these rooms cost a little bit more and why they're different. Bit of a tough door. As always, when you go in, you've got to put your room card to get some electricity. Wow. Look at this. Well, this is nice. I don't know whether, are they the same Premier Inn beds? Maybe, but the, a lot of the new updated Premier Inns have this, uh, the purple light, you know, it's their color, it's their brand. I'll show you why it's different. So you have a workstation. That's what it said on the internet. So we've got a pretty nice leather chair, a nice lamp. This is the extra that you get as well. You get an espresso coffee machine so looking forward to trying that in the morning you get some nice big almost like little wine glasses and instead of those small cups you get really big cups which is nice and look at this now this is posh green and black complimentary chocolate and some very posh looking tea and then obviously the capsules for the nespresso machine the only thing that i'm a little bit surprised about is the kettle is the same Premier Inn kettle. Doesn't look too bad. But also, we've got a little mini fridge. Help yourself. To what? There's nothing in there. Should have been something in my fridge. I don't know. Nice touch, but personally, if I'm staying here, why would I need a fridge, really? So let's look around the rest of the room. A nice, comfy seat. And I, you can't really see because it's dark, but I've got a really great view of Western Pier. I'm facing the sea, so I don't know where you get extra for a sea view. Let's just close this curtain. Oh, curtain's hanging down there. Nice comfy chair though, and these seem odd. Bedside table. You've got a plug socket, USB plug. I will do the bed test in a moment. Oh, and it also comes with that super fast broadband, which is actually quite nice, because normally you have to pay about an extra like £2.55 pound for that. You've got a pretty nice TV. Most new Premier Inns have all these big TVs. Nice cushiony seat, if you want it. Obviously it comes with air conditioning and some art. And there you go, and it tells you who created this masterpiece. I always like the beds in Premier Inns. The problem I don't like 
is I find that the pillows are just too high. I wish there was just some pillows that were not as chunky and as high as the Premier Inn pillows that I get. Look at that, lovely white sheets. And that's the other thing. I do love Premier Inns, but the duvets are just way too thick. Even in the winter, I find that I have to have the air conditioning on. Full length mirror, and I believe this is where the extra pillows are. And as always, it's quite nice because they're in a, well, they should be in a, in a bag that's sealed. This is open. We've got an iron if we need it. Is that a good iron? I don't know. Normally here you don't get a stool, but you've got another nice leather stool. And I've noticed that the colors all match too. So a nice vanity mirror there and a good old hair dryer. We've got an open wardrobe. Oh, I like this, that light. See, that's actually handy, especially if it's uh, a room when you've got someone else sleeping and you don't want to turn the light on or it's quite nice. There's an extra towel there. Let's have a look in the bathroom now. I personally love a bath. I think this has got a shower. Now the floors always in the Premier Inns are not overly that great. This actually looks not too bad. And you'll also know staying in a Premier Inn, you get those, um, those holders for the toilet tissue. You feel like you're in a public toilet. They actually have proper loo roll holders. Shape for a flush. Sink, pretty standard. Humongous mirror, what the hell? What is that? Ooh, flashy. That looks nice. And if you have stayed in a Premier Inn, you'll know there's those square plastic things where you press to get your soap and over the bath. But these are proper shower gels and, and hand wash. Looks very nice. Now taking a look at the shower on brand with the colour, it is actually quite, quite a big shower. And this has got the added bonus of having a choice of a hand shower that you can hold and do your bits or a rainfall shower as well. I don't know how new this hotel is, but that's pretty good. So is that. We've got shampoo and conditioner with tonic extracts of white nettle. Hmm. Yeah, the bathroom. I'll tell you what, it does, um, it does feel pretty posh for a Premier Inn, doesn't it? Obviously it goes without saying, but oh, I love the beds in a Premier Inn. They're really nice. Seriously, the way I'm going on, it sounds like this is a sponsored video, but it is not. Um, whenever I'm traveling around the country, if I can choose between a Premier Inn and a Travel Lodge, I will always choose a Premier Inn. Now, I've stayed in some Premier Inns that are not the best, but the, the one thing that stays consistent for me on a Premier Inn is the beds. Even if the rooms aren't as up to standard as you normally like, you can guarantee that the beds are always nice and comfy. Is it worth paying that extra 20 or maybe 30 pounds in some instances? It depends if you've got the money. You don't wanna to spend too much on like a four or five star hotel, but you wanna kinda of come mid-level. I think this is definitely worth it. If you like the video, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe as well. And if you wanna see me check out more travel lodges and more cheaper boutique hotels, do let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time.